When you go out to work on track, you expect to come home safely at the end of the day. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. Rules and procedures are there for a reason, and they must be fully implemented to ensure that death or serious injuries are prevented. It's 11.30am on a railway line in rural Australia as an intercity passenger train travels through the countryside. Down the line, workers start their track work, unaware that site protection measures such as detonators and flags are not in place. The location of the worksite has not been clearly passed between the site protection officer and the train controller. Both men believe the train has passed the worksite. Everything seems okay, but disaster's approaching. As the train comes through a cutting, the driver sees an excavator working on the track. He quickly brings the throttle to idle and applies the brakes, but it's all too late. The train hits the excavator and the operator is killed on impact. In this case, there was a breakdown of communication, initially between the train controller and the site protection officer, but the workers also accessed the track before the last lines of defence had been put in place, with tragic results. Whenever there is work taking place, coordination and communication between train control and the worksite are essential. So too is communication at the worksite. Workers should never access the track until all safety measures are in place. Critical information must be communicated and verified with everyone involved. Your life depends on it.